Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel that takes on all kinds of issues related to understanding narcissistic relationships with a goal of helping you heal, helping you cope, and hopefully helping you avoid these relationships in the first place. Now today, to me, if you're only gonna watch one video on this channel, this is one worth watching. It is a simple technique that could actually help you in all of the narcissistic relationships you have past, present, or future, okay? So get out your pen, because this one is a keeper. I, today, am gonna give you a simple way to remember how to deal with any kind of narcissist in any part of your life. Very simply, I'm gonna tell you to go deep. Now, DEEP is an acronym, and it's a nice and intuitive acronym. Since narcissistic people are so superficial, it would seem that the antidote would be to go DEEP. Now, those of you who have been to my seminars and read what I've written and all of that, you've heard me talk about the concept of going DEEP ad nauseum. But if you have not, I wanted to make sure that everyone has this topic and this technique at easy reach. So let's break down what DEEP stands for, and then really break it down. The D stands for defend, the E stands for engage, the next E stands for explain, and that P stands for personalize. So simply put, if you have to deal with someone who is narcissistic, do not defend, engage, explain, or personalize. So let's go deep in understanding what this really means. First, don't defend, D. It's the most common mistake that people make in the face of narcissistic people. Now listen, when someone is accusing us of something we did not do or is projecting their dysfunction on us, we want to defend ourselves. This is particularly pronounced when we are being gaslighted. It can be a sort of eternal circle of hell when a narcissistic person is gaslighting you about something, anything, and you defend yourself, and they double down, and you keep defending, and on and on. And you may be wondering, but listen, somebody is accusing me of something I didn't do. I want to defend myself. Defend away. But remember the cardinal rule of any narcissistic relationship. They aren't listening to you, and they don't really care what you have to say. So you're putting a lot of effort in and giving them lots of narcissistic supply when you keep defending yourself, especially if you start escalating and your volume goes up and then the narcissistic person takes a certain amount of glee in being the one who keeps it together while you keep defending and defending. It's a waste of time and energy. You know what you did or didn't do. You know your intentions. They aren't listening to you. So don't defend or do any of that with them. A relationship with a narcissistic person is like living in an eternal kangaroo court. You are forever defending yourself against false charges with no due process. Second, don't explain, E. This is a riff on not defending. But since a relationship with a narcissistic person seems to be an eternal misunderstanding, mostly because their insecurity is being chronically triggered because they are, and because they're not capable of self-reflective capacity, the fact is they'll take everything you say and put a really malevolent, mean-spirited twist on it. Basically, as a rule, narcissistic people think everyone is either out to get them or is envious of them. Now, a major challenge with narcissism is they hold firm to only their narrative and cannot make room for the possibility that other people have their own experiences and interpretations of events. Again, just like with when you defend, when you explain, you are talking to someone who is not listening and you keep going down the same rabbit hole again and again. So many times a person wants the narcissistic person to just understand them. And if they could just understand them, it would be fine. Listen, they aren't listening to you, so don't explain. It's a waste of your psychological energy 
and really contributes to a sense of feeling as though you are losing any sense of control or even sanity in the world because to explain, really put the time into explaining and really attempt to make your point and then have it ignored is extremely invalidating. Next, E, don't engage. Now this is actually just gray rocking, right? Not much comes out of really engaging with a narcissistic person. And by engaging, I mean sharing your opinions, being authentic, taking on difficult conversations, being vulnerable, talking about sensitive matters, offering feedback or a meaningful, mild critique. Don't do it. More often than not, if you engage, you'll end up in gaslighting or invalidation or just general and discomfort. discomfort. I actually hate gray, gray rocking because it saps people of their authenticity. And at best, it is an impoverished form of human contact. And yet, gray rocking is an essential survival tool if you have to maintain a relationship with a narcissist. This may be anything from co-parenting to a divorce that feels too difficult to take on to a parent or person from your family of origin to a boss in a workplace you cannot yet leave. In the long term, remaining in any kind of narcissistic relationship is not good for your health. Gray, rock, gray rocking is like driving on a spare tire. It's not meant for a long-term drive. If you find yourself having to gray rock in the long term, make sure you develop other sources of social support. This may be friends, support groups, therapy, because the emptiness and hollowness of a gray rocked world or primary relationships means that you need some places where you can have full and rich social interactions. Next is don't personalize. P for personalize. Now this is tough guidance because these relationships feel personal and it is personal because you're hurt and you're having real emotional reactions. However, what I mean is don't personalize their behavior. You're not engaging in their behavior. You're not responsible for it. You aren't the one gaslighting. They are. You aren't the one minimizing. They are. You aren't the one behaving badly. They are. They may try to pitch it that their behavior is your fault, but as adults, we are responsible for our own behavior. Tempting as it may be, to foist our behavior onto other people. So when the narcissistic person is communicating in a way that feels dehumanizing, it is not because you are not enough, it's because they are treating you badly. Self-blame is such a universal part of narcissistic abuse. To not personalize means to steer clear of that self-blame. Emotional abuse is not okay, never. So to review one more time, don't D, defend, don't E, explain, don't E, engage, and don't P, personalize, deep. Keep that with you. When you find yourself getting sucked back into their vortex, remember it deep. And this is not just about verbal communication. It is about texting, email, any form of communication. Don't get into the ultra long text messages or the multi page emails where you defend, explain, etc. Don't personalize their hostile texts. Antagonistic communication is what they do, and a narcissist loves them a good text battle. Healthy people shouldn't like these, they're not good for you, but narcissistic people love the ability to use their electronic device as a weapon to attack someone with. Some of you are watching this and thinking that if I don't defend or explain, aren't I just being a doormat and letting them walk all over me? Listen, they already are walking all over you. This technique is just meant to decrease the duration of the walkover. Remember that so much of these narcissistic relationships are about baiting. They want you to defend and explain. They like when other people get worked up and agitated so they can calmly sit there and behave as though they are superior and sort of not being dramatic while you're explaining and defending more and more. If you can think of the deep technique 
as a way of not giving them narcissistic supply, then it feels less like you being a doormat and more like you not engaging with someone who treats you with disrespect. It can help to have other spaces in which to talk about the relational dynamics so at least you can have a healthy sounding board. It just will not happen with a narcissistic person. So go deep so you can avoid the superficial shenanigans of a narcissistic relationship and keep yourself and your psychological bandwidth for far more important activities, endeavors, and people. Thanks again.